Hey guys, thanks for joining us again here on the Lake Life. As you can obviously tell, we're here at the Pickle Patch. It's a huge antique mall, tons of venues here. I mean, they've got stuff from wall to wall. It's a huge building. You've got to come out here. It doesn't matter what you need. I'll show you right here in a minute. They got it, I promise. Guys, hang around. Come along with me. I guarantee we're going to have a good time here at Pickle Patch. Let's go. Welcome to the Pickle Patch. Welcome to the Pickle Patch. Come on in. Hello. Well, we're here at the Pickle Patch, and now i got the opportunity to sit here in front of Miss Gail. Miss Gail, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, if I was any better, they made me pee in a cup to check on me. I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> Miss Gail, y'all have got a ton of stuff here. Tell, tell me a little bit about the Pickle Patch. Okay. Well, we've got approx approximately 80 vendors. Wow. Yeah. Um, some of them double up in their booths, and we've got a lot of unique things from the old to practically new. Uh, just a mixture of everything. Yeah, that's, that's great. And like I said, I just took a quick lap through here, and I mean, this place is huge, too. I mean, uh, how, how did y'all get a place this big? Well, this used to be the Ford dealership, and Tony and Cindy, P Cindy Picklesheimer owned the uh, building, and they approached us about being partners, so that's how it arrived. I don't guess Picklesheimer, I don't guess that had anything to do with the name here, did it? Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, Cindy come up with that name, and she did very well. Uh, she did, and uh, like I said, I love the place. There's a ton of, of unique stuff here. What What are some of your favorite things about the Pickle Patch and the stuff that's here? I like the diversity you've got from, like I say, old to new. Uh, you've just got so many different varieties, and the vendors keep it turned around pretty quick, keep it moved where it won't be look the same every time you come in. You said something close to, to, to 80 vendors or something thereabouts. I mean, uh, I, I guess it, it's not hard to pack that many people in here, though, when you've got a, a great showcase for them and, and a great venue for them. Uh, do, do you have a particularly favorite booth? I've got several favorite booths. Several favorite booths. You ain't ever... I, I'm kind of versatile because I like the old, and I do like some of the newer stuff. Now, you, you ain't ever spent no money in here, I know. Oh, yes. You ain't got a little small pickle patch in your house? I do. I do. It's kind of hard to not buy when you work in a place like this. Now, do you have a booth here? No. You don't? No. So you just come around here and soak it all up? That's right. Guys, get down here for Miss Gail buys everything up. Uh, Miss Gail, thank you so much for talking to us, and we're going to take another quick look through here and show the fine folks uh, what all's in here. Okay. Thank you very much. Guys, we're standing here now next to Miss Tiffany, one of our vendors here at the Pickle Patch. Miss Tiffany, how, how have you enjoyed it here at the Pickle Patch? Well, it's been a great experience for me. Uh, love the owners. Uh, love just coming in, chatting with all the vendors, decorating. It's just, it's just a, a good experience all the way around. How long have you been here? Since the very first day. Day one. How long ago was that? July 30th. July 30th. Opening day. So not not too long, almost a year, right? Almost a year, that's right. And it is a huge building, and I know you guys have to get a lot of people walking through here, too. We do. Um, and some people come locally and others from all over the country. All over, because you never know what you're going to find here at the Pickle Patch, right? That's true. It changes daily. Uh, I know. I, we were looking around a lot of these antiques. You know, an antique don't really fit in the bachelor pad setup <laughs> I got, right? <laughs> So I tend to go around looking for a little more manly and kind of bars and, and lit sign. And uh, not only that, I told you that a little earlier. And how about Miss Tiffany who's out here helping me look for them here? That's right. Uh, just super friendly fo friendly folks, friendly people that work here. I mean, I've been blown away with just the, the way everybody's nice around here. Yeah. They are. They really are. We've even developed kind of a little family among all of the vendors and owners. Oh, that's nice. And uh, um, I see your stuff here is reasonably priced, and, and I love a lot of things you got going on. Actually, um, one of my favorite things I've seen in this booth, there she is, Sassy. Oh, yes. Sassy's a little poodle. Uh, Paul, can we get a shot on Sassy? So, Sassy is for sale? No, she's not for sale. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, 
we found out Miss Tiffany said that Sassy is for sale. <laughs> she said dirt cheap, dirt cheap. You know, she'll let her go for nothing next to it anyway. My husband may say that, but not me. Now, now we were talking earlier. Are you a football fan? I am. And what, what's your team? Well, you know, being from Louisiana originally, I have to say, Go Tigers, LSU, number one. LSU. You know what you get if you put 16 LSU cheerleaders in a room together? Oh, gosh, what? A full set of teeth. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. Uh, do you know how many LSU freshmen it takes you screwing a light bulb? How many? Zero. That's sophomore class at LSU. Miss Tiffany, thank you so much for hanging around with me today and uh, for letting me pick fun of you a little bit and talking to Sassy and helping me out everywhere. Um, guys, if, you, if you're around Pickle Patch, come visit Miss Tiffany. Right. Come, dealer come, number 12. Dealer number 12. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds impressive. Well, each person has their own dealer number, oh, and yeah. so that way they know how to charge. Divvy it all up, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so dealer number 12, y'all come check her out. I guarantee you, you're going to have a good time. Ask her about LSU. You'll have a great time. Uh, and you can get around here and pet Little Miss Sassy. I'm going to tell you something. You'll fall in love with her just like that. Hang around. We're going to come check in with some more vendors right here in a second. Guys, we're here at the Pickle Patch. I'm standing next to Kelly. Kelly, thanks so much for talking to us. Why do you? Why? Why are you here? I have a little girl that's coming, and I've got to find her a chandelier for her room. A chandelier, but you think you can find a chandelier at Pickle Patch? I think that you can find anything at Pickle Patch. Anything at Pickle Patch. What about a cardboard cutout of Dale Earnhardt Sr.? You could find that too. Uh, what about a cardboard cutout of a chicken bucket decorated with Car Dale Earnhardt Jr. on it? You could find that too. Yeah. Could you find any Star Wars Episode One figurines? I, I think that you could find that also. Did you find hair bows? Oh, a lot of hair bows. A Minnie Mouse with a blue shirt on? A uh, Minnie Mouse with a blue shirt on or a pink shirt. Po polka dotted shirt? Any of them. Blue, pink, or polka dot? Mm hmm. What about a blue uh, with pink polka dots? I think that you can find blue with pink polka dots. You can find anything here at Pickle Patch. Kelly, thank you so much for talking to me for a minute. Uh, can't wait till the nice folks out there at Hillaby Towers get to see you. Hey, uh, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to leave you alone let you go back to shopping yeah. now, okay? Thank you.
And Chris Giddens, I'm standing here right now, standing next to Miss Alice. Miss Allison, thank you so much for talking to us. Welcome, here. everybody, to the Pickle Patch. Um, as you can see, we have a variety of things, uh, and it's very reasonably priced. Um, I think that if you're looking for something unique uh, for your home that is not, you know, where everybody's not like a cookie cutter thing, that um, you need to come out here and get that special piece. Um, the layaway is available, and um, that's just a way to make your home special. What's your favorite part about being a part of this here Pickle Patch project? Oh, it's just it's just so much fun going and trying to find new treasures and uh, just different finds, going to state sales and yard sales and just trying to get something unique. I hear you. Well, uh, how long have you been here? Since they opened up from day one. We started with one little booth in the back in the corner, which is now the man cave, and we have expanded to four booths now. Four booths now. Uh, what are your future? Do you, is this just all going to be the pickle patch? It's all going to be your booth? We hope. Sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, we hope. <laughs> well, what are, what are you? some of the favorite things that you sell here? We do real well with dining room tables and chairs. Hmm. And um, we can't. We can't keep any in stock, so to speak. So you can find dining room tables, chairs. I'm looking here now. you got all kind of dressers. I love these lamps right here, too. They're fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. It's unique. You can't. You just can't go everywhere and find it. Absolutely. So, you know, if you want something unique that's not like everybody else is in the town, come in here. Come right on here to the big back. It's not a very far drive from anywhere on the lake, right? Right, right. I mean, I mean you know, maybe... 30 minutes, depends on what part of the lake you're at. Yeah, depending on what part of the lake you're on. But it's right here on Highway 280. Easiest thing in the world to find is an old Ford dealership. And, I mean, this place is huge. It is huge. It is great. It's just something fun to do on the weekends. And you know? Y'all have even got a little area back here where you're not selling anything but cold drinks, but you can just go sit down back right. there. Is that right? Yes, and we'll, there's some rocking chairs out here if you want to sit or on the front porch and Guys, thanks for tuning in for another edition of The Lake Life. I'm sitting here right now with my new friend, Miss Jamie Causey. Jamie, how'd you like your time here at Pickle Patch? I love coming to Pickle Patch. They've got lots of great stuff and beautiful chairs. Awesome. Well, you're right about that. Now, Jamie, we're getting ready to get out of here. Give us a line one time. See you on the lake. <laughs>